want to talk about appropriate manually operated safeties for defensive pistols. Now, when we talk about choosing a gun at this point in the evolution of defensive firearms, we recommend that you have a firearm that does not have any manually operated external safeties that require actions that are not already inherent in the process of defending yourself with a firearm, i.e. shooting the bad guy or presenting from a holster. Now, when we look at something like the Springfield XD, that cumbersome phrase gets really simple. All that phrase really means is that if there are manually operated safeties that actually aren't passive inside the gun, but are manually operated when you are shooting the gun, but don't add an extra step that you wouldn't have to go through otherwise to defend yourself with a gun, we're good to go. So it doesn't make the situation any more complicated than it needs to be. On the XD, there are two manually operated safeties. One is the grip safety, and one is this trigger disconnect safety, this little lever on the front of the trigger. Now these guns obviously have been cleared, everyone on the set has checked them, and I'm just gonna push in on that little lever and you'll see it just move out of the way a little bit. I'll get a little better angle for that camera and you'll be able to see that when I push that lever, it gets out of the way and I haven't started to press the trigger yet, I've just made it so that the trigger can be pulled. And if I put my finger behind that lever and try to pull the trigger, it doesn't go anywhere. Even if I were to pull the trigger and not have this grip safety depressed, then the gun wouldn't go off either. But what's interesting here is that unlike an older style gun, like this Beretta 92, I don't have to do anything extra with this gun that I wouldn't do anyway to defend myself when it comes time to use this gun in a worst case scenario. With this Beretta, if I have this manual safety lever engaged, well, I could obviously get a good grip on the gun, I could touch the trigger and press the trigger, but nothing's happening here. Nothing's happening here because I haven't gone through the extra step to use my thumb to push this lever forward and actually make it so that the trigger and the hammer are actually connected. So again, these guns have all been checked, but it's easy enough. I have this one in my hand. We'll take a look at it again. No magazine, nothing in the chamber. And what you'll see is that when I decock the gun and have the safety on, again, I pull the trigger, nothing happens. When I take the extra effort to sweep that safety forward, now when I pull the trigger, you see this hammer starts to move back and we could go through the process of firing the gun. With the XD, when I grip the gun, I deactivate that grip safety. And when I touch the trigger and begin to press, I deactivate that trigger block lever. So now I've not had to do anything extra. The gun is very safe. If a, something gets in on the trigger and presses on it, it's not gonna go off even if I get full purchase. Obviously, even if I have a grip on the gun and I were to get startled and my fingers slip down and catch the edge of the trigger but not engage it fully, the trigger's not gonna move because of the trigger block safety. If someone were to grab the gun and try to make it go off and they reached in and just hit the edge of the trigger, it wouldn't go off. And if I let go of the gun, the grip safety would become undepressed and it would actually engage again and the gun's not gonna go off. So this gun is inherently very, very safe. It lives in the holster, it lives in a quick access safe. When I get my good firing grip on the gun, which I need to do anyway, I deactivate the grip safety. And when I start to engage the trigger when I've decided to shoot, that's when I'm gonna be disengaging that trigger block lever. So the trigger block lever, remember, it's going to stay engaged until you're just about out in your shooting position, even if that's a retention shooting position. You don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. That's when you deactivate that trigger block safety lever. These two safeties are manually operated. Be disingenuous to say that they weren't. They have to have operation from you. They're not inherent inside the gun but they are not going to add any extra steps, and that's what makes these manual safeties on the Springfield XD appropriate for a defensive handgun.